Gitti Friedman, Community Connector at the Minneapolis Jewish Federation. Here we are on the final day of our 30-day endeavor. Clean Speech Minnesota is over and we can go right back to the way things were before. Or can we? If we've gotten this far, we hopefully have at least a small sense and maybe even a great appreciation for the pleasure that comes with improving our speech. Our world is more beautiful. We have a sense of accomplishment for even a small accomplishment brings us great satisfaction. As international educator and author Rabbi Noah Orlowick said, small change isn't small change. We should know, however, that we have only scratched the surface of our topic. Much more detailed instruction can be found in other great books about Lashon Hara. In fact, avoiding Lashon Hara is just one of the many such worthy endeavors. Related misquote of improved speech include not lying, not revealing other people's secrets, and not hurting others when in conversations with them. And then there are interpersonal misquotes such as not taking revenge, not bearing a grudge, and loving your neighbor as yourself. Improvement of character is a goal of all the mitzvot of the Torah, making us into dignified, noble, and admirable people, a kind, considerate, and just community, the kind of people who feel proud of themselves and are the desired company of their peers. That lofty description does not generally apply to someone after only 30 days of effort. It takes a lifetime of work and self-growth. The good news, however, is that we is that the reward is felt immediately because making progress towards the goal is extremely satisfying. We might now consider reviewing these lessons for another 30 days to absorb more about avoiding Lashon Hara. And there are also groups of like-minded people in class settings with whom we can learn. One thing is certain, we cannot return to a state of insensitivity about the power of speech. The way we speak has a very great deal of influence over us and everyone around us. Let's wield our power mindfully. Our final daily to-do is to decide what we can do to ensure that this month wasn't for naught. Choose another helpful book, join a class, or start these 30 days once again, from the beginning. Thank you for joining us.